Hi, this is Pearl and welcome to my channel. Today I have week six of my 2020 Project Life album. For this week, I am using the Studio Calico February Documenter Kit. I am putting my photos in chronological order, as you'll see here, or semi-chronological order. Then I'm going to go through the journaling cards that came with the kit, and I'm going to start placing them based on whether I need a journaling card or if I need something to uh, fill in the gaps. So some of the photos that have 3x4 pictures where there's a 4x6, I'll either use another 3x4 card or I will use a 4x6 and just mat it onto the 4x6 card. So for the first picture, it's a picture of my daughter going to dance class. I'm going to use my 6 inch tonic guillotine, which is an amazing paper trimmer. I use it mostly for photos though, when I'm doing Project Life. I'm going to cut off part of the photo so that I it'll be um, smaller on the 4x6 card. I'm going to hear that down and I'm going to use my Zebra Sarasa vintage dark gray pen and I'm going to journal. Kaya loves dancing. She asks every day if we can go early to watch the previous class and stay after to watch the next class. She's responsible for her own bag, dot, 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 which is almost as big as her. Love this girl. Now I'm using the Kokio um, adhes rolling dot adhesive. I get that on Amazon. I'll link that down below. And I'm going to use the Felicity Jane date stamps as well as uh, Black Stays On ink and the Versifying Black Onyx, Onyx ink and use whichever one, um, depending on if I'm going to journal or date stamp onto a photo or onto paper. So I use the tiny attacher to attach this um, acetate heart onto this photo and this journaling card, and I'm going to just journal around it. I've mentioned this in other videos, but I'm trying to use more stamping onto my layouts because my the Studio Calico kit comes with a stamp, as you'll see right there. Um, and I'm trying to add more stamping to my layouts. Now, the, this stamp says love this on it. I'm putting it onto my acrylic block and rubbing it with my hands to get some of the residue off of there so it'll have a clean stamp. And I'm using my Stays On Black ink to stamp love this onto the photo. Now, the Stays On is great for slick, uh, slick surfaces, so that's why I use the Stays On for photos. The Versifying Black Onyx is amazing for fine detailing stamping. So I have this circle acetate heart, I mean circle, excuse me. <laughs> and I'm just going to adhere that to this um, journaling card and I'm going to staple it down and it says February on there. Um, I have this wood heart and I'm just using my rolling dot adhesive to adhere that down to the green section of the card. Now I'm centering that onto the center of the circle, not centering it to the center of the card. Now this next picture is of my daughter. She's practicing doing a ponytail and I'm using the Studio Calico February print and cut label and I'll link those down below as well. And every month they have ones that match the colors of the kit perfectly. So here I wrote, I'm not sure how Kaya learned to put my hair in a ponytail. She loves practicing. So she's practicing here and I'm going to date stamp that using stays on ink and then I'm going to put a chipboard on there that says full heart. I always stamp or use the tiny attacher to attach my labels to give it just some more dimension. While I'm looking at the chipboards I also put one that says yes yes with an exclamation point and I'm putting that down onto the photo of my daughter doing a one-handed cartwheel at her. Um, tricks and acro class. So then I'm going to go to this the daily. Um, it's a screenshot of the podcast and I'm writing on this journaling card. The kids and I listen to the daily every morning on the way to school. I think it's really important that our kids know current events and they know what's happening and I'm really shocked at how much they learn at school because a lot of the times they'll know names of diplomats or whoever in other countries and know more about what's going on than I may sometimes because I don't always watch the news when I'm at home but I do listen to the daily every morning so we listen to that on the way to school I just think it's a good habit for the kids to be up on current events not just video games <laughs> okay so I'm gonna move on I'm looking at my stamp to see if I can stamp anything else 
Now moving on to the next photo, it's a picture of um, a selfie in the car. And another thing that we like to do every morning is we read from Mr. Brown's precepts. And we take turns reading it and everyone talks about what they think it means to them. And so I have a stamp here that says all the good things and I rub that against my palm again because it's a new stamp and I want to get um, all the debris off of there. And I stamp that using the stays on ink onto there and um, use the stamp chamois to clean the stamp and put the stamp back. If I don't put the stamp back, I will absolutely lose it. So moving on to this picture of my daughter doing a one-handed cartwheel, I use the journaling card that says happiness and I'm going to stick a heart acetate on there by stapling it onto the journaling card and I'm using my Versafine and Felicity Jane date stamp to date stamp onto the little white area of the journaling card. So I start journaling, but then I realize I want to put the heart acetate on there, so I go ahead and include that with this tiny attacher. I wrote, Kaya's favorite dance class is Tricks and Acro every Wednesday. Today, she learned how to do a one-handed cartwheel. I'm always amazed at how fast she learns to do things. It's crazy, and I don't know if it's because she's five years old or if she just has a natural knack for doing all things dance-related. So after I um, do that, I'm going to move on to the right-hand side of my photo. Oh, after I adhere the two 3x4 cards onto a, a 4x6 just white card stock. And then I'm going to trim off the excess if there is excess using my tonic 6-inch guillotine. It'll cut straight through layers, which is so nice. And it cuts really clean because it's a self-sharpening guillotine. Next, I'm going to move to the right-hand side of my layout. And on this right side, the first picture is of my Hobonichi planner. I'm trying to do different ways of planning, and um, I just took a picture of this because I keep changing my format. I date stamp it, and it turned out crooked, but that's okay. Um, and on the next photo and journaling card, it's a picture of me putting makeup on my daughter. I journaled, Unicar and Carrie had a diva beauty party for the Hot Tots and their moms to practice hair and makeup for their first competition. It was nice to get to know some of these moms. Kaya is making friends for life through dance. Now Hot Tots is a dance team of four to seven year old girls and there's 10 of them on the dance team. And this was the first competition for all these girls and so there's a makeup dress code, is that what you call it, and hair. So we all got together to practice and help each other figure out how to do makeup and hair for the first competition. So I journal that, date stamp that, and then I put a chipboard that says love ya on top of that photo. Next I have the love. Next I use the February memory stamp from the Ali Edwards Stories by the Month kit and I stamp that onto the bottom of the journaling card that says good stuff only the very best um, and I clean that stamp off with the stamp chamois and put the stamp back and then I'm going to look at the next stamp from the one Studio Calico and it has these vines leaves and I stamp that around the word love just to give it something a little extra. I probably should have used green ink now that I think about it but I try to take as many decisions away from myself as I can and just um, use black. <laughs> that way I don't have to think about what else I'm going to be doing. The less decisions you make, you know, like Steve Jobs, that's why he always wore the same clothes, that kind of theory anyway. I'm looking at the stamps again. This is the one from Allie Edwards, I'm trying to decide if I'm going to use anything else. And I'm going to use the stamp that says the story continues, and I'm going to use the stays on blank ink and put that onto my planner picture because the story does continue. And I have planners that I've used since high school and I still have some of them. I don't know why I have keep them. I should probably get rid of them. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you guys keep your planners or do you throw them away? Curious minds want to know. <laughs> so after I put that stamp back, I'm going to go on to the next photo, well actually the bottom photo, it's just a picture of my daughter coloring and um, I just put a date stamp on there because it's pretty self-explanatory. 
and I'm date stamping some of the other pictures that are on this as well. The picture of my daughter right there that I'm putting the acetate heart that I'm stapling onto is when I had practiced her makeup at home before the divas party. So on this good stuff journaling card, I journaled, I love that Kaya loves arts and crafts just as much as me. She can spend long lengths of time coloring in her coloring book. Reminds me of me, because that does remind me of me when I was younger. I used to love doing that. And I obviously didn't wait for this stamp to dry because I got it on the bottom of my hand and it's smeared. Oh, so frustrating. I hate it when I do that. <laughs> But I didn't want to do it again, so I just wipe my hand on the stamp chamois and I move on. So I take another acetate heart and I'm going to staple it to the broad, uh, the bottom left photo there of the girls all together, showing us their sassy attitudes. Staple that on using a tiny attacher. And then I think I'm done. So I get all my photos together and that's it. Thank you so much for joining me. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.